We're here today to announce the continuation of a unique public-private partnership making an impact on the lives of individuals and families in our community. Uh, United Way Madison County, Crisis Services of North Alabama, and the City of Huntsville are partners in this initiative. By being here today, you are all, part of, all partners, too, in this awareness-raising mission, and we thank each of you for joining us today. Uh, the partnership is a key component in making sure everyone in Madison County knows about the vital 211 service when they are, hunting, when they are hurting or in need of help. And it's interesting this morning when I was telling people that I was going to be doing a press conference about uh, 211. So the question was, well, what is 211? So obviously there is more awareness that needs to be raised about this valuable service. So what is 211? 211 is a national clearinghouse for non emergency health and human services managed locally for the United Way, Madison County by Crisis Services of North Alabama. Uh, you'll hear more about this resource later from Ms. Jessica Rashi, uh, who is the program director at 211. Through this service, any of us who find ourselves in need uh, can learn about the resources available to help us and our families and how to quickly connect to them. This partnership we celebrate today specifically makes it possible for large posters to be installed in 80 bus shelters throughout the city. We'll be adding new po posters inside Handy Ride and the municipal buses. Uh, many of the folks who uh, need this service are the ones who are riding buses, and we want to make sure that they in turn know how to connect to this valuable service. Uh, some time ago when uh, this conversation first began about actually figuring out a way to partner with the United Way Crisis Services and 211, it became an exciting opportunity to create a partnership that actually made sense, that people could collaborate on and actually get benefits from services that are available to everyone across our community. One of the things that is oftentimes overlooked, I think, in our regular conversations, and I'm not talking about the choir because you all represent the choir, but among people in our community who are sometimes groveling about what's not here or, or you know, having difficulty getting access to something, that we have one of the most resourceful communities on the planet. I'm convinced of that because I get to work with those individuals on a daily basis and experience the great blessing of having resources like the United Way 2 in 1 and Crisis Services. So to be able to stand here today and affirm the value of this uh, partnership is a very important thing. So on behalf of our mayor, I want to thank you all for being here and want to thank, uh, I think Tommy Brown is here. Uh, thank you, Tommy, for your uh, commitment to this process and your team and everyone else that has worked along to make this thing possible. Continue to move this process forward and keep making Huntsville the great community that it is. Thank you. I want to thank the United Way for all they do for our community. Uh, the city is a proud partner uh, with them to make the community a better place to live. United Way identifies the most critical needs in our community, whether they be in health, education, or financial stability. But they just don't stop at identifying the needs. They bring together donors, volunteers, and collaborative partners to actually develop solutions and answers for those that have needs. They impact so many people on a daily basis, and we're so proud to have them in our community. 211 service is vital to our city, county, and state. You call 911 for emergencies. You used to call 411 for information, and some of y'all may still do. And you call 211 for health and human services. The city council encourages, encourages you to keep this in mind and share this resource with your friends and families. There may be somebody out there that needs this resource, so we need to make sure that we talk about it word of mouth and get this to our, our neighbors. So again, on behalf of the city council, I want to say thank you to United Way for all that you do. You impact so many people on a daily basis, and we appreciate you. Thank you, Kathy. 211 is a three-digit number that serves our community as a resource hotline. 211 is as easy to remember as 911. 211 is answered 24 hours a day at no cost. 211 connects people with important community resources, including in times of disasters like April 27, 2011. 211 is a partnership between Crisis Services of North Alabama and United Way. In 2016, our local call center answered more than 7,000 calls for Madison County alone and had almost 5,000 web searches on our online resource database, www.211connectsalabama.org. We also began texting and chatting this year. What do people in our community need help with? What is health and human services? People are looking for homeless shelters, 
People need employment. People call 211 for food pantry, pantries when their uh, food stamps may have run out. Help for an aging parent, addiction prevention programs, tutoring and activities for children, affordable housing options, dentures, transportation resources, uh, just to name a few. 211 allows people to give help and get help. Our call specialists and I have taken many calls over the past year where a scared voice on the other end of the line said, I saw your poster at the bus stop and I saw on the poster that I could call this number and get help. And we were so grateful for those calls. And through our partnership with the City of Huntsville and United Way of Madison County on projects such as posting 211 posters at bus stops and on the public transit. In the collaboration with the Office of Multicultural Affairs, you've shown that 211 is important to you and important for the city. And we appreciate your support, past and present. And we look forward to a continued partnership with you and a partnership with the community as well. The other enhancement that we are very excited about, many of you know that the needs assessment that United Way did in 2014, the voice of the community said, please pay attention to the fragile populations at either end of the age spectrum. That's our seniors and our elderly and folks that are, are, are leaving a legacy for us in this city, as well as our babies. And so we were thrilled when the Alabama Partnership for Children brought a grant to our own 211 Center to bring a program called Help Me Grow. And Arani is our brand new program director there, and I'd like for her to come and just tell you a little bit about Help Me Grow Alabama and the great resource that is uh, accessible through 211. And we have plenty of brochures here up about it, but if she'll come just for a few minutes and share what she's doing, and this is brand new to uh, within the last year to 211. Um, what we are focusing on is children from birth to age eight. And what we do is we send out ages and stages questionnaires to the parents, either via email or mail, and um, they fill them out once they send them back to us. <laughs> Once they send them back to us, we score them, we do a follow-up, and during that follow-up, we also take into consideration their concerns about their child and connect them with resources within their community, and this is helping them be prepared once they do enter the school system. So if you would like to, you can call 211 and ask for the Help Me Grow Specialist, and they will be happy to assist you. I heard a, a statistic from Jessica several years ago that is just really impressive to me that mostly uh, people that don't know where to turn will call six or seven agencies before they really find the agency that can help them. 211 cuts that time down so they get the help if it's available as quickly as possible because they make one call and suddenly they have four or five or two or six agencies to call that can assist them with exactly what their problem is. We have a quality of life here in Huntsville and Madison County that everybody is so proud of. But if we don't take care of these fragile folks and help give them a hand up, which is what United Way is absolutely all about, then we will not continue to have that quality of life. So it's really something that every one of us can be an ambassador for.